Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Ruchach Kodash. I want to give double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and blessings unto the hopefully elect. And uh, just wanted to get straight into this lesson, man, dealing with the contra uh, controversy of Zion, which is a, a, a major thing in the earth, man, because it's dealing with who are the Israelites, man. And the Apostle Hoyd made a quick comment on this scripture, um, Isaiah 34 and 8, which I'm going to read in a second, and just stated that the controversy of Zion is dealing with who are the Israelites, man. Showing you that there's something very unique and something different about this book, man. Because this book is all about Israel, man. This is our history. This is uh, uh, our curses, everything, man. Our future. Just tell us all the answers that we need, our way of life, how we conduct ourselves. But you have these heathens who are sought to be us, man. Mainly uh, these Edomites, man. The Amalekites, man. And when I was doing a little research, uh, I just Googled uh, the controversy of Zion. And you had Edomite authors such as uh, around the time of like the uh, 1950s, um, such as Douglas Reed and other ones who actually wrote books called The Contro Controversy of Zion and tried to identify these Amalekites and Judaism as something dealing with our heritage and basically stating that those are the true Jews. And throughout the book, or the, the beginning of the book, he only dealt with the tribe of Judah, man. Shows you that these people don't have no understanding of the scripture, and they're not teaching the full truth because they don't have it, man. Now the controversy of Zion is heightening right now, because you go into the word, come, well, let me get the scripture real quick. It's uh, Isaiah 34 and 8. It says, for it is the day of the Lord's vengeance, and the year of recompenses, payback for the controversy of Zion, man. See, all these nations came together to try to keep us from knowing who we are, man. Pursuant to uh, Psalms chapter 83, man. All right? So now we're in the time where, where the Most High is lifting up his men to bring out the truth, man. And, and, and the fact that in the, the men of the Lord are bringing out the scriptures through the Spirit and proving that we are the Israelites, man. And I know many brothers we went through, you can go into the curses to prove that we're Israel, you can go into the color of the Lord, the color of the, uh, 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 of the men of the Lord in the scriptures. But uh, what I wanted to do today is just kind of touch on the spiritual aspect of, of who Israel is and what they will be doing through the spirit, man. Mm -hmm. Showing that they are the children of Israel, man. All right. So I'm going to grab this one more time and uh, get into some scriptures, man. Lord willing, this be edifying. This is Isaiah chapter 34 and 8. For it is the day of the Lord's vengeance and the year of recompenses for the controversy of Zion. See, now you got these uh, Edomite scholars and authors are trying to act as if this has already been completed and done. They're trying to associate the Israeli and Arab feuds with, with, with this scripture, man. They're trying to uh, uh, associate all these different things that have happened with these gutter rats, which are not true. All the false stories, as such as the uh, Holocaust, trying to associate that as being Jacob's trouble. When these are future prophecies, man. And you're seeing the height of the controversy of Zion happening right now with the men of the Lord uh, standing boldly and claiming that we are the children of Israel, man. And now you have all these Christians, all these heathens, everybody rising up saying that it ain't true, man. Even amongst our own people, man, are saying that we not Israel, man. But the spirit is what we, we focused on, man. And, and the spirit of Israel is strong, man. You can't you can't hide it, man. Even the ones that come up, uh, Jake, that claim they uh, not uh, they will believe that they not Israel, their characteristics show, man. And you can just be looking at it. You can see, like, man, you know, this is a hard-headed nigga right here, man. You can tell this Jake, man, all the way. All right? But I want to key in on, uh, on just the, 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 what the most, the men of the Lord will be doing. And the only men of the Lord will come from the line of uh, uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man, the Israelites. All right? This is Romans 8 and 16. The Spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahweh, man. All right? And it says, and if children, then heirs, heirs of Yahweh, and joint heirs with Hamashiach. 
if so be that we suffer with him, that we may also will be also glorified together. All right, it says uh, verse 18, for I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us, man. All right, so part of the glory right now, the first part of the glory right now is the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that's been gifted unto the men of the Lord through the uh, Rukha Kodash, the Holy Spirit. All right, so that's showing that the, the only the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are suffering for righteousness' sake right now, who's suffering and putting off that old man and serving the Heavenly Father, man. No other nation is doing that, man. That alone is, is, is a key indicator through the spirit of who uh, 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 who the Israelites are, man. The ones that's rising up across the four corners of the earth, man, and speaking against this wicked system, man. No other nation is doing that. They trying to get their piece of the pie, man. They in the Christian church talking about God is love, man. All right? I'm going to jump over to Genesis, man, just to get a backdrop of, 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 character, of strong, some characteristics of who the Israelites are, man. Going back to uh, our forefather, uh, Jacob, man. All right. This is uh, Genesis chapter 25. I'm going to get straight to the point, man. Just showing you the, the uh, uh, that the scriptures already covered everything and gave us a uh, uh, so much proof of who the Israelites are, man. Just so we can defend the, the truth in these times, man. Because everybody's trying to get their seat in salvation now all of a sudden, man. First, the Native Americans was, was savages. Now uh, Esau want to be, oh, I'm 3% Cherokee. Yeah, that you bought, man. Everybody want to get a seat. And no, nah, this, this, this ain't for you heathens, man. We are the chosen seed, man. All right? This is Genesis chapter 25 and uh, 27. And the boys grew, talking about Jacob and Esau. And Esau was a cunning hunter, a man of the field. And that's evident who that is, a so-called white man. So these are Malachites and these heathens that uh, that try to claim they, oh, uh, uh, they're Jewish. And, oh, I'm, uh, 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 I'm this tribe or whatever they might say. Man, your characteristics all come from Esau, man. You are a cunning hunter, man. You'll sit in a tree for uh for days covered in deer piss to shoot a nine point buck. Alright? Let's get to the point. It says and Jacob was a plain man dwelling in tents, man. So who do you know loves to do that, man? You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all all of us as a whole, Jake likes to just chill and sit back, man. Just be up in the house and be content, man. As long as they got something to eat, they got their woman around them. They ain't out uh, doing too much, man. All right. It says, and Isaac loved Esau uh, because he did eat of his venison, but Rebekah loved Jacob. And that's another characteristic to show who Jacob, the Israelites are, man. Little mama's boys, man. All right. And I'm going to get a couple more examples, man, to show you. That uh, who the Israelites are, man, because it's a major controversy in the earth right now, man. And nobody had any issues with it long as it was those gutter rats claiming to be the chosen people. But soon as the true Israelites, and that shows you, man, because you go into the word controversy, it means strife or dispute, man. Nobody had any issues or any uh, uh, arguments until we start claiming to be the Israelites, and we're doing it rightfully so, man. All right. This is uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5 and 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and have made no account of his labors, man. So who could this fit, man? These righteous men of the seed of Israel, in the last days, they was going to be standing boldly against the face of such as have afflicted them, man. This so-called white man has afflicted us on every corner, man. Every chance he got, and he's continuing to do so, man. Now, in this present time, what do you see every weekend during the week for different camps, man? You see brothers going out and condemning this place, man. Standing up for Yahweh while Yahweh was shot, man. And speaking the truth and letting them know that the, the, the lies is over, man. This is the truth. We are the Israelites. Your kingdom is going down, and the Most High is getting ready to send his son back to deliver us, man. Us only, man. 
That's why these devils are, uh, are are setting up all these different uh people to try to dispel with the brother uh with the brother and our teaching, man. That's why they made sure they had to uh try to beat uh, and they did it. They beat our heritage out of us, man. And once they did that, they tried to lay claim to us, man, to our heritage, man. But they only, uh, uh, according to them, uh, the children of Israel only consist of the tribe of Judah. Whatever, what happened to the rest of the tribes, man? This ain't for you devils, man. And real soon, it's gonna, it, it, the, 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 the truth is going to be, that's why it said, this is the, uh, the day of the Lord's vengeance and the year of his recompenses, man. For y'all fucking with the apple of his eye, man. For trying to take, push us to the side and take your seat uh, uh, in salvation uh, uh, and upset prophecy, which will not happen, man. Because the Lord is going to defend us in that day, man. All right? And just to further show the, 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 uh, the agenda of the so-called white man is to, is to, is to oppress uh, the nation of Israel, man. And not only, is, well, I'm going to read the scripture real quick. This is Micah 2 and 2. And they covet fields and take them by violence in houses and take them away so they oppress a man and his house even a man and who is this they man who is this wicked you read it verse one I'll read verse one man this is Micah 2 and 1 woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds when the morning is light they practice it because it is in the power of their hand talking about these elites man they have the power to affect the whole uh, effect uh, have an effect globally man and one of their main uh, global effects is, is, is covenant and, and taking fields by violence, man. All right. So back in verse two, it says, and they covered fields. This is the M.O. of the so-called white man. See, this is not this. This is not the history of uh, Israel, man. Yeah, we we was uh, set at uh, at that point in time to go to war. But this damn devil, the so-called white man is a, a war driven uh, uh, maniac, man. Who can never have enough, man. Alright. This is verse 2 again. And they covered fields and take them by violence and houses and take them away. So they oppress a man and his house, man. And, that, and it's talking about us, man. They have oppressed us, man. On every level. It says, even a man and his heritage, man. And that's the point I wanted, man. They have oppressed our very heritage, man. Beat our heritage out of us and told us we was Africans, man. Told us we was black, we was Negroes, man. And then tried to lay claim to to uh uh, uh to our uh, our right, man. You sold your birthright, man. You gave it up, man, when you was Esau, man. You said, well, what need do I have of this birthright, man? So you gave up your chance, man. But not only the so-called white man, you got all these other heathen nations. Uh, trying to uh jump in here and claim that they you had more some uh Moabites and Ammonites I can't remember ex exactly which ones was claiming to be uh the tribe of Manasseh and they woke up and they was dancing all through the airports man no man well if that's the truth that's the truth well why you don't see them so called them Moabites uh or them Ammonites whichever ones they were uh were they could have been Japheth man it been it was some years ago when I saw it man. But why are they not on the highways and byways teaching the word, man? Why are they not speaking against this uh, 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 this kingdom, man? All right. This, uh, real quick, this is Jeremiah chapter 3 and 23. Truly in vain is salvation hoped for from the hills and from the multitude of mountains. Truly in the Lord, our power is, is the salvation of Israel, man. So that's why all these other nations, want to, uh, when you read in uh, Psalms 83, why well, so all the nations came together and tried to make sure we didn't know who we were, man, because they knew the promises to Israel, man. They knew had that how much they had to take a back seat and be in subjection when we got under our power, man. But now you got all these heathens claiming that they into the Bible, they're Christians and all this other BS. Man, salvation is for Israel. The Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans and in scripture, the hills and the multitude of mountains represent these other heathen nations, man. All right, and you see him, man. Now, 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 see the Most High is lifting up Israel by uh by the preaching of the word right now, man. Through men, but it's coming through the, through the Rakhakodash, the Holy Spirit, man. 
All right, I'm gonna grab the scripture, man, because we we wouldn't dwell in darkness, and now for the past uh um uh past few decades, the truth has been coming out, man, and we waking up to who we are, man. All right, this is Ephesians chapter uh five and fourteen, and that's why uh, uh like I said earlier, the controversy of Zion is heightened in these times. Because the word has went out throughout the four corners of the earth, and everybody is nervous and, and, and scared. Like, damn, these Israelites, they they waking up. They finding out who they are. They speaking on our downfall. They have the understanding. They, they breaking down all the strongholds and all the false doctrines and philosophies that we've pushed throughout the earth, man. They're calling these Jewish the uh, gutter rats and, and uh, counterfeits that they are, man. All right? This is Ephesians 5 and 14. Wherefore he said, uh, Wherefore he said, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Masiach shall give thee light. So that's the time we in, man. Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai has sent the, the spirit of understanding, the Holy Spirit, down unto his men to lift us up, to bring us out of darkness, and to spread this light throughout the earth, man. And the, the controversy of Zion is coming to an end, man. And the truth is out, man. It, it, there's no more arguments, man. No more the, the little petty argument. Because you can't combat with this knowledge, man. The true understanding, man. You Christians don't know the scriptures, man. You gutter rats. All your, your Judaism and, and, and your false understanding that you done put out there has been smashed and destroyed, man. And the truth is out, man. So you heathens can continue to try to strive and fight against this, but you can't combat with the spirit, man, because you're fighting with a carnal mind, and we're fighting the spiritual beings, man. All right? Hey, I'm going to end it on that. Lord willing, this is edifying. Uh, once again, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shah, Bashem Rucha All right? Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone. Peace and blessings unto the elect. Shalom.